Click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello guys, in this particular video, we will learn DC analysis numerical approach on BJT. See this particular circuit. Now in this particular circuit, the different approach is we are using this self bias technique where your value of emitter voltage emitter supply voltage is minus 12 volt and collector supply voltage is plus 16 volts and base is connected to ground through 9.1 kilo ohm so this is the example of self biasing technique nothing will change in the steps of input KVL and output KVL. Let's see what they ask us, right? They ask us to find the value of IB, IC, VCE, VC as well as VE. Let's proceed further for all these five findings. What we'll have to do? First of all, general method will apply your input KVL. Now where that input is? Many people make mistake, likewise they take input KVL from plus 16, 12K multiplied by IC and then they come 9.1K multiplied by IB and then go to emitter side. This is the wrong approach. Here we have to take the input KVL is this. This is your input KVL, right? So we are starting with the direction of current so here i will assume that the voltage is with the direction of current plus minus here we'll be having plus minus vbe and here also we'll be getting the voltage drop across 15 kilo ohm emitter resistor that is three voltages and fourth voltage is obviously minus of minus 12 volts let's start with the kvl minus of 9.1 kilo multiplied by IB minus VBE minus IE into 15 kilo and minus of minus 12 volt that is plus 12 volt is equal to 0. See guys, I am again writing this input KVL over here so that you will get a very clear idea about it. This is the BJT VBE and here we will be getting RE. Instead of writing this minus 12 volt, what I will do, I will take this polarity meter over here minus and plus. In this way, I am representing this 12 volt supply, negative 12 volt supply and this is with respect to ground and this 9.1k is also with respect to ground so that forms a loop and that's why we will say that here we will connect ground and that's why this forms your input KVL right and with this only we have formed this particular KVL. Now in this we have the value of VBE 0.7 we can represent the value of IE in the form of beta plus 1 multiplied by IB, right? And beta value is given as 120. So everything is known to us except the value of IB. We can easily go for calculation of value of IB, right? We can say that here minus of 9.1 multiplied by K multiplied by IB right minus 0 0.7 minus 121 into 15 k 121 is 1 plus beta 15 k multiplied by ib and plus 12 is equal to 0 12 minus 0 0.7 that is 11.3 right 11.3 I will take as it is and rest all the terms I will take on the right hand side so it will become plus. Here we will be getting 
micro ampere. Four eight, so it will become six point one nine five micro ampere. I B is known to us. Now, this is the first finding of our answer. Now we will proceed further to find out next. I C is equal to beta times I B. Beta is one twenty. So we'll just put the value one twenty multiplied by six point one nine five. This is in terms of micro, so I C will be getting in terms of milli. Zero point seven four three milli ampere. That's the value of I C. This is our second finding that we are expecting. Now we can proceed further for calculation of value of VCE with output KVL. Mind well, guys. In the output KVL, we will start from plus 16 volt and will end up to minus 12 volts. So in between, we'll be getting 12k multiplied by IC, 15k multiplied by IC, and your VCE that we are expecting to find out. Okay, great. So 16 plus 12 will become 28 and rest all the parameters will keep on the right hand side except these two terms because IC value is known to us. I'll keep the value of IE and IC is same. Keep this in mind at what time when I'll have to keep the value of IC and IE same. So we'll write the reason as beta is very high when beta is very very high i can say that your alpha is approaching towards one right if alpha is approaching towards one i can say ic is nearly equivalent to value of ie okay so i'll take the value of ic is equal to ie only and then we can proceed further to find out the value of vcq IC is known to us that is 0 0.743 so we'll be getting 7.9 VCEQ will become 7.939 volts this is the third finding for this numerical we'll say Roman 3 answer now here they are again expecting here we are expecting VC and VE as well once we get the value of VC we can easily get the value of VE because we know that VC is nothing but VC minus VE okay either you can find out VC first or VE first then we can get the another one easily see this circuit if we want the value of VC then we can easily get by applying just KVL over here till the value of VC. Don't think in that way VC is only VCEQ. No, VC is only the collector voltage, VE is emitter voltage and the subtraction of both is nothing but the VCE. So I want to find out first VC, right? And then with the help of VCE and VC, we can go through the value of VE. With VC, I can say 16 minus the drop across this 12k is nothing but the value of VC, right? So when this current is flowing through here, there is some voltage drop across 12k and remaining part of voltage will be getting on this node that is collector node that is called as VC, okay? We can directly write the equation for VC is nothing but 16 minus IC multiplied by 12k. We know that IC is equal to 0 0.743 milli multiplied by 12k. So k ne milli ko maar diya, right? And 
12 multiplied by 0 0.73. We'll be getting 7.08. That is nothing but the value of Vc. And now we can easily get to the value of Ve. I can I can say Vce is equal to Vc minus Ve. Right? So Ve will become Vc minus Vce 7.08 here itself will be getting the difference and 7.939 will be getting in the form of negative voltage obviously it should be negative because at the end here we will be getting minus 12 volts so near to this here at the emitter terminal we will be getting negative voltage only minus 0 0.85 this is answer number 4 and this is answer number 5 so all done we have got all five answers as they were expecting so thank you so much for watching this particular video I hope you all have understood well about this particular numerical. So thank you so much again for watching this video and you have to subscribe the Ikeda channel to understand better and better ADC1. Thank you.